Let's now run down memory lane and uh, talk a little bit about Indomitian Sue. What is up, Finn fans? Last week, an article came out that Indomitian Sue sat down for an interview and talked about his time with the Miami Dolphins. So I thought, let's talk about it. He said a few things. I haven't read it fully, but I started reading it and I was like, this is interesting. Let's make a video about this. Again, this came out last week, a little late, but I had other videos planned. Um, also, speaking of videos planned, before I jump into this Mamma Jam Q&A video, I'm going to do one for Friday. Uh, I guess you can call it like a off-season training camp Q&A video. I already posted it in the community section. I posted it on Twitter and I posted it in the Discord for the Patreons. So if you guys want to be a part of it, go to the community section and comment your question in there. That's where I'll be picking the questions either there on Twitter in the post. Um, it, I tagged it. I pinned it. So just go to my Twitter. Twitter, Go to my Twitter. It's the top uh, tweet that I pinned. Or go to the community section. Or if you're in the Discord, you already know what to do. So Friday Q&A video you have until Thursday night to get your questions to me to be part of the Q&A video. So let's jump into what Indomitian Sue had to say um, when talking about his time with the Miami Dolphins. Now, we signed Indomitian Sue to a hundred, over $110, $114 million contract. It was a big move. No one thought the Dolphins were going to do it. I remember it. Indomitian Sue is becoming a free agent. He's, you know, if you look at his time with the um, Detroit Lions, 10 sacks his rookie year, four sacks, second year, eight sacks, five sacks. Um, eight and a half sacks, and then all of a sudden he became a free agent after five years because they gave him the franchise tag. Um, and he's a free agent. Who's going to get him? Who's going to get him? And then it's like, well, the Dolphins aren't really going to be in, in the running for him. And all of a sudden the Dolphins are in the running for him. The Dolphins are. Stephen Ross wanted the big boy. Stephen Ross wanted him there. So uh, we signed him to a re re ridiculous contract. He ended up getting uh, his first year with a six sacks, second year five sacks, his last year with his four and a half sacks. Um, ton of quarterback hits, ton of quarterback pressure. Um, and then we released him, still owing him too much money to play on another team. He ended up going to the Rams, and now he's with Tampa. Um, but a lot of people were disappointed in his play with us. Um, you know, he only had one double-digit sack season, which was his first year he had 10 sacks. Other than that, his time with Miami was kind of his average. Um, so they expected more from him. So he talked about his time with Miami, and he said, EQ, which is emotional quotient, what, <laughs> is one of the most important traits I look for in people. But for many, it's seen as less valuable than IQ. That is not true. Here's the story of how I learned the importance of EQ the hard way in Miami. If you've watched me play, you know I can be a lot of in your face. Yes. A lot of in your face, a lot of step on your leg, a lot of choke you out, a lot of, yeah. Very aggressive. Um, I'm a very direct person uh, by nature. My job is, an, uh, is entirely about imposing my will on the others, so that bleeds into other aspects of my business. For a long time in my career, I was always just saying what I wanted to say, never thinking about how I delivered the message. Everything changed when I got to Miami. So he's saying before that, he it was his job as a defensive tackle to get through people, to impose his will on people, to make the guard slash center in front of him Oh, I got to face Indomitian Sue this week. Oh, geez, Louise. And he did do that. He did a very good job of that. Uh, I was in a strong, influential position, so I was just making my opinion known, regardless of how it impacted others. Two years in, I realized this attitude was creating division on the team, uh, pushing people away, and putting me in a negative headspace. Then along came our new coach. I disagreed with everything he wanted to do, but nothing I said was being heard. I couldn't get the support I wanted. I realized it was because I had zero tact. 
I don't know what he means by that. If you're not careful about how you do things, you'll end up being the bad guy. So what did I start doing that I still do today? One, I listened way more than I talked. Two, I paid attention to how I interacted with people. Three, I observed others' reaction and adjusted as I needed. And four, I chose my words carefully to be more empathetic. Uh, it was a total 180. There was less arguing and more agreements. I turned my influence on the team into impact, but most importantly, I felt better about myself and my mood improved. Since then, I've never forgotten about how much EQ matters in business and in life. He didn't say in life, but business and life. Uh, being sensitive to others always brings um, better results. Don't just think about what you want. Think about what others want. So he essentially saying that he was very aggressive and then his time in Miami, it kind of made him take a step back because he was talking to the coaches about what he would like to do and what he felt comfortable doing. So the long came the new coach, I disagreed with everything he wanted to do, but nothing I said was being heard. That is a big no, no, when it comes to being an NFL head coach, when it comes to being any type of head coach, especially if you've got a hundred million dollar defensive tackle um, coming to you saying, listen, this is how you can use me to the best of my abilities and get me to get you 10 sacks, eight sacks, get me to consistently get pressure up the middle. Because we all saw what him and Cameron Wake did to the Jets quarterback. I'll just pop it up real quick, but I heard him. He ended up becoming a Dolphin quarterback for like a year, but he did he did well. Um, so I, I that sucks to hear that you know he went to the coach and and, and said you know he, he disagreed with things was going on, but nothing was being heard. And then that kind of puts a light on that that's why he started freelancing because that was his. But that was the biggest knock on him. The biggest knock on some of the other players. I'm not going to talk about it because a lot of times when I start talking about certain players, people get in their feelings. Um, but they would freelance a little too much. Kiko Alonso, he would freelance a little too much and leave certain areas of the field open that other people have to make up for, which then would leave people open. Dominic and Sue at some points in his career would freelance a little too much and leave lanes open where he should be there. Instead of going after the quarterback, your job is just to take on these two guys or hit the A gap or the B gap. He would be like, no, nah, I'm going after the quarterback. Um, so essentially what he's saying here is his time with Miami just taught him to be more situational understanding. Because if you notice when he was with Miami, he was still kind of doing the things that he did in Detroit where he would, you know, step on people, push people, do all that stuff. Um, you don't see that anymore when he went to the Rams and now he's with the Bucks. You don't see that anymore. So essentially he's talking about that he learned a little too late for us hundred million dollars for Dominican too. I'm so glad that the Dolphins don't do that anymore the Dolphins don't overpay for players who oh, like overpaid for Kyle Van Noy and they overpaid for Eric Flowers that they though <laughs> and if you say they overpaid for Byron Jones you don't know what it's like or what it is to look at corners play because Byron Jones is the reason X got 10 interceptions. He shut down that side for the most part. Again, I say they're a great one-two tandem and I want them to stay together. But this is very interesting. Um, comment below. I just wanted to talk about this, you know. Something to talk about. Again, me recording this, it is uh, the 6th at what? 10.30 at night. You guys are going to be seeing this at 7, unless you're a Patreon or you're a member. What to talk about? It's dead. A lot, of people, a lot of people want to know, hey, what's going on with the contract? Why aren't we signing this guy? Why aren't we signing that guy? I'll make videos about that. Friday's video is going to be the Q&A video. And then I think I'm going to go live on Sunday with Reason. So that should be fun. But be sure to comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this. What Dominic Katsu had to say, did I interpret some of his things that he said wrong comment below let me know and i'm gonna get to one of you guys comments of the day and this comment comes from ron and ron says to me come to the day doug if it came down to one roster spot and your choices of keeping fall to adam shaheen or hunter long who do you keep um 
<laughs> it's ne- it, it won't come down to that because Adam Shaheen just signed a contract extension this past offseason, and Hunter Long is a third-round draft pick. Um, so if it ca- if you're talking about right now, what would it come if it came down to this? I it wouldn't. Like if you said you know Durham Smythe or Hunter Long, then I'm going with Hunter Long. Um, even uh, you know Gazicki and Hunter Long. That's a hard one to say. Um, but I haven't even seen Hunter Long play to really give you guys a good answer on this. But if it came down to it, uh, it's such a hard question to answer. Again, realistically, neither one of them are going anywhere this year. Neither one of them getting cut. Like I said, Adam Shaheen just signed a contract extension, and Hunter Long is a third-round pick. You normally don't move on from third-round picks unless you're the Oakland Raiders. Thank you for Lynn Bowden Jr. Um, I haven't seen Hunter Long play in the NFL yet, so I don't know what I'm getting from him. So I guess Adam Shaheen. <laughs> I haven't seen Hunter Long play yet. So, you know, he could – not have transitioned well from the NFL from college to the NFL and in that case I'll go Adam Sheen I've seen what he's done he's done I like what he's done I think he could even get better so yeah you know what I'm feeling generous I'm gonna do one more comment of the day this one comes from the ghost of Adam Gase and he says comment of the day if Preston Williams gets hurt again do we keep him (sighs) probably not Probably not. Um, with the way it's working with um, th- with the, the wide receiver core, with Albert Wilson really stepping up, with you know Waddles doing well, with even Foster doing really well, if you're not on the field and if you're not there, you're probably the odd man out. So if Preston Williams does get hurt again for the third straight year in a row, he probably won't be on the team again next year. Um, and he'll probably go to another team and he'll probably, you know, do better, but he'll have that injury history and the consistency of that on his um, record. You know what? I'm feeling even more generous. Let's throw a third one in there. This one comes from Clay Elliott. He says, comment of the day, has Miami gave up on signing Melvin Ingram? I don't know what's going on with uh, Melvin Ingram. I'm hearing other teams are interested, like the Colts. Um uh, I think what right now is happening with a lot of the free agents, they're just in a holding pattern. Um, a lot of times what happens at this point is either you, you take care of your own at this point. For this next month, you take care of your own. You either try to resign your own or you figure out what you're going to do with your own, either trade or whatever. And then once you go into training camp, you see what you have that first week or two. You see where the holes are. You see who's struggling, especially the first day of pads. Um, That's where you get to understand the defense and offensive line when the first day of pads comes on. So I think the Dolphins still might sign Melvin Ingram. I think, you know, there is that connection with him in Florida and him in Miami, especially with him coming to the facility and working with Xavier Howard. Um, so I think it's still a possibility. I think everyone, all the free agents are just in a holding pattern. Todd Gurley, Le'Veon Bell, all these types of guys. Um, but thank you guys for the comments. I answered them very quickly, so I thought, why not throw three of them in there for you guys? Uh, so be sure to comment below. You never know. If you guys get short and sweet comments like these guys gave me, and I can answer them, maybe I'll do more than one. But again, go to the community section and leave a comment if you want to be in Q&A video on Friday. You'll see it's the very first uh, community post. Or follow me. Go to my Twitter. It's pinned as the first tweet on my Twitter page. Or if you're in the Discord, you already know what to do. Um, keep them short, though. They could be about anything. You can ask me about the office. It could be about anything. But if you, if they're real long, then it takes up a lot of time and I can't get more comments in there. So keep them short. One or two sentences. But other than that, guys, I will see you on Friday with the Q&A video. I'm very excited to answer a bunch of your questions, your off-season questions, your maybe personal questions. I don't know. But like usual, check out Backroom Collections. Bad boys over there. Use the promo code DDW. Get yourself 10% off. It is linked in the description. Go over there. Get yourself some great art. Patch vibes. I'm wearing one of their shirts. They have great patches. They have the mug that I got right over there. Go check them out. Use the promo code DW. Get yourself 20% off. And Miami Sports Music. Great hodgepodge group of all of us Dolphin content creators. From K Flexen to TD to me to some podcasters. Go check it out. Solo D started with his boy Steven. Go check it out. Other than that, guys, I'll see you Friday. But like usual, stay classy. And fins up.